fresh, fresh, fresh. I haven't worn the uh, Condi Garçons for quite a while now. I feel good to be back on the feet. Well, that has been one adventurous morning. I was supposed to just have a relaxing start to the day and get packed, ready to head out because today I'm gonna to be heading to Port Mirion with a Ferrari. We're gonna be doing an overnight stay. I think this sums up my morning. Zzz, ping, ping, ping. It's been absolutely hectic. Uh, I woke up this morning and some sump pumps in our basement have failed. So the water that runs down into the sort of courtyard areas isn't getting pumped out, which means that it would flood. So I've been trying to work on that this morning and get that fixed up. So when I leave, I don't leave Lydia with the risk of having the house flooded. So that's been quite stressful. We had two taxis arrive and every time a taxi driver comes to our house, it takes about 10 minutes to try to direct them into the house because it's quite hard to find our house. So that's probably about 20 minutes of talking to taxi drivers, trying to explain how to get to where we live. And yeah, it's just been non-stop. Phone, ting, ring, phone, it's been madness. Phone ting ring madness. I'm very tired, guys. I do apologize. <laughs> but anyway, it is gonna be a good couple of days. We're going down to Wales, North Wales with Ferrari. It's only uphill from here. So yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I don't even know what to say. It has just been like this all morning. It's crazy. I'm gonna get my stuff. I'm gonna go and catch a train down to Chester. We're gonna be meeting the rest of the gang and then we're gonna be heading from there to Wales. So let's do this. So we've just arrived, you can see we've got the Ferraris lined up, ready to take a trip over to Wales. They're looking absolutely fiery. This is the GTC4 Lusso V12 and then next to it we have the Portofino and that red is absolutely beautiful. The V8, oh it tells me on the number plates, <laughs> oh wicked. So we've got two Portofinos, two Lusos. Nice. We're just stopping off for a bite to eat. Oh, I love the floor. Yeah, I've got Hi, Hi, Abby. Okay, thank you. We've arrived. We've finished off having a bite to eat, and I'm just walking past the reception where we're going to be leaving. But yeah, we're going to jump in the cars now and uh, make our way down to Port Miriam. We've just been told that Chris and I are going to be taking the Rossa Portofino down. We've got the tan interior, dual stitch. Oh, look at that lovely red stitching down the side. Absolutely beautiful. Little look at the bum. She's looking handsome. Yeah, you pop that boot, Chris. <laughs> oh, you just wanted to touch that booty. You just wanted to touch that booty. <laughs> Everyone. Chris, Bert, Alan. <laughs> oh, right, let's stick this little baby in. Is it going to fit? That's the question. Beautiful. It's almost like it was made to fit. Is that what you're travelling with? It's just a backpack. I, need, I could learn a lot from you. I'm low maintenance. Anyway. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? She is. Oh, mate. You're going to be driving with the paddles or auto? TBC. <laughs> TBC. <laughs> TBC. <laughs> Lovely. I'll let you got a launch button in here. You can get down there real quick. All right, I'm going to take my bag off and get in. So this is not my first time in the Portofino. Uh, I've had the pleasure of driving this car before in Italy. But I am looking forward to going down today to Wales in it. And uh, I'm going to start the journey off being chauffeured, which is always a nice treat. So I'm just going to stick my feet up, relax, and uh, enjoy the drive. Water for the journey. What shoes are you wearing? Can't you go, yeah, why? <laughs> Open want, the door. Did you, like... did, did you want to swap? Huh? Did you want to swap? <laughs> no, I'll just take a photo. You got a foot fetish? Easier. <laughs> take them off. <laughs> Are you filming me? No. <laughs> Just in case I forget what you say. I've got it on camera. <laughs> um, now you've got the route book and everything. So. Okay. All good. See you soon. Bye. So we're just uh, taking off. We've put our destination in on the map. Chris, where are we going? 
Wales. <laughs> I like that answer. I like that answer. We can't pronounce the name of where we're going. It's somewhere like Clangloughlin. It's just a stop off on the way anyway. It's not actually where we're going to be finally uh, finishing off our route. But anyway, the journey begins. All I can say is I'm glad that I'm not driving. The, 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 the focus right now is real. <laughs> Chris is Australian, he's not used to this. Right? What's the water falling out of the sky? <laughs> oh my god. Fires? What is that? No, that's, that's clouds. They're like vertical pillars. Yeah. Rainfall, no? Different. Look at this. Give a camera, it's just like trees just constantly <laughs> blocking the lovely okay, view. Okay, describe it verbally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically, they're behind the trees are, are lovely mountains and or hills. They're not quite mountains, are they? Close your eyes. In fact, I can tell them what I want. Right behind there, there's an actual turquoise lake and... It's the Welsh Alps. <laughs> um, it's the Welsh Alps. 200 yards, turn sharp right onto Bay 5. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, bridge. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm absolutely <laughs> feeling this. I'm so glad we took this route. Holy shit. Beautiful. Right, wow, I love now the Tudor style right houses. Onto Bay five. I think you're going to swing a right here, my okay. friend. scenic part of the drive. That actually was. Yeah, it's feeling that. So I expected. Yeah. I can still remember the first time that we kissed. Feeling light as a feather. I always want to feel like this. just pulled up the car in front of this beautiful lake behind us still looking a little bit miserable out here but we thought we we're gonna use the opportunity to get some content in front of the car just take a look over onto the water you can see in the distance the boats but that's quite a nice nice view we've got a guy doing some fly fishing over here down the bottom massive wind farm across the horizon and then the car situated ready to be snapped. Chris is just framing up his shot, make sure he's happy. If anybody wants to go and check out Chris's Instagram, it's Bert Allen, Chris Bert Allen. Is that how you pronounce it, Bert Allen, or is it? Do you say it as like a, as in one word, or double barreled, or? Bert Allen. Bert Allen. <laughs> 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 the noise of <laughs> Bert? <laughs> So, where, where, where? we are soggy puppies right now. <laughs> look, at, look at his hair. <laughs> look at his hair. He's driving the direction of the indicated route. Thank you very much, darling. So basically, we've just spent the last half an hour taking some photos, and it is wet and it's raining, but it's very nice because it's very dramatic, and I feel like we've got some artistic shots. Cinematic, very artistic, cool. theatrical. Cinematic yeah, for sure. There was definitely one of those in there. Ahead. Chris has got a very... Um, is eclectic the right word? Eclectic. Go with that. Artistic and creative vision. We had a chat with a local fisherman and uh, he appreciated After the beast. 200 yards, turn sharp left. We're now going to head to Port Marion where we're going to be finding the rest of the team, hopefully. I've just checked into my room. I'm staying in room six here at the hotel. Port Marion, lovely fireplace. It's not actually been used as a fireplace, but it's still got the mantelpiece around. Ooh, cheeky bathroom mirror. We just arrived and checked into our hotel rooms. Gonna just quickly unload my stuff and then we're gonna quickly head back downstairs actually to the reception just to regroup with the rest of the guys. We traveled down as a group, but independently, if that makes sense. We didn't stay in convoy. We just uh, took, took the journey independently and 
I think there's one or two cars still to come. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for everybody to get here and then find out what the plan is for dinner. Might have an opportunity to do a little bit of content outside the front of the hotel, but because of the rain, it's making it a little bit challenging. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, see what we can do. Quickly go for a little walk, even though it's peeing it down, take a look around to see where we are located. But I think tomorrow we're gonna go for a proper walk around Port Miri and the village and uh, just do a little bit of exploring. Hopefully the weather's not so torrential at that stage. Nice yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we've arrived at dinner and I've gone for the duck egg. Wow. I think most other people have as well. I mean, we've got duck eggs all the way down. Quacky now. Cheese. I thought that was for the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll put that in my family. <laughs> Ooh, millionaire shortbread looking on point. There's a little bromance over here, I can feel it. <laughs> and good morning, everybody. So, I'm feeling quite fresh this morning, actually, surprisingly. I uh, had about six hours sleep, but yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling ready for the day. It is still a little bit miserable. However, we're just about to go on a tour around the village and we're gonna learn a little bit more about the history of the place and basically all of the architecture and design. The color palette of the village is based on Portofino, which obviously sits in line with the Portofino V8 that we've been driving to come down here yesterday. But the actual building themselves aren't in line with the Italian architecture. They're taken from inspiration from all around the world. And the guy, Clef, who built this village took 50 years and he started from the age of 24. So it's a super impressive place and uh, yeah, we're gonna go and learn a little bit more about it. Hopefully, don't get rained on. Ooh. Gonna enter the village. Um, because he felt everywhere you go into the village you need to feel as if you arrived, so we have to walk under that and you've arrived in the village. This is um, a nice example of the four-tier painting he did, so light shade, the soft, dark shade, the bottom oh, to make mm. it a golden damp. Yeah. Yeah. And this was by Epstein's Cottage. So oh, really? this, this is the one that the Beatles had all their parties in and um, Epstein built his wardrobes in there and he also complained Ooh. to Clef that how are we supposed to have these lavish parties in such a small dining room? So Clef had to extend the dining room for them as well. So yes. The most important thing about this, this building is, can you see how... So up here on this house, the three windows on the side are fake. They're painted on. So I'll quickly take a closer look and you'll actually see that these are not real windows. How incredible is that? Had me fooled. It's actually quite a wacky place, isn't it? I mean, you can't, you can't deny. <laughs> Look at it. There is a beauty here, though. I see a lot of beauty in this place. I think that has to be one of my favourite views so far. Got some chests down on the bottom down here. So nice. <laughs> well, the 10th, that's actually my birthday. How weird. Is it? Were you born in 59? Yeah. 89. Hey, we. I used to bury materials to keep them looking old or to age them faster. And these were found. And then they built this after they'd been buried for 32 years or 30 something years. The swimming pool, which used to be a tennis court. That's the view. Isn't it? Max, you're With looking Max in the glorious yeah. in there. Close. <laughs> Just come back to our rooms to check out, but the tour was, it was crazy. It is literally the most unconventional village I have ever seen. It's just wild. It's like Clef had a crazy dream one night and he just made this thing happen. But he also had so much patience in what he was doing to have taken 50 years to have built that and to the stories that go behind some of the architecture and some of the builds been done it's just it's actually really fascinating it's a it's a crazy place but a fascinating place and uh, yeah that was good fun doing a little tour there we did get rained on a little bit not too much but we managed to get out of it just in time i think now we're going to jump back into the cars and then we'll stop off some lunch before heading back to chester so i'm going to quickly finish packing my suitcase which is on the bed, and then we'll get ready and hit the road. So today we're gonna to be taking the V12. <laughs> and it's this one right here. 
Rari. Stand away from the car. Sorry, mate. Have you got the? <laughs> just, a couple, just a couple of steps back. Nothing major. It's Which one are you in today? The, uh, one. It's in the red one. Oh, you're having our sloppy seconds, are you? She's yeah. Chris, this is our little baby today. Our little puppy right oh, here. It's, it's going to be very scenic today. We're going to be driving through some lovely roads. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. You excited? Really looking forward to it. Let's do this. Do you have the keys? Oh, they're in it already? Sounds safe to me. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Well, good boot space. My suitcase will fit in there a dream. Ooh, spacious. Got our four seater today. Looking lovely inside. Wow. All right, let's get in. Jesus Christ. Oh, ooh, I love the roof. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, it makes everything feel so much like more spacious. It's nice and airy, isn't it, when you've got a panorama? Yeah, for sure. Those really bucket nice. seats are actually really comfy as well. Yeah. First impressions of the Lusso, because it is my first time in the car. Actually, I have been chauffeuring one of these before. Yeah? But it's my first time being in the car this year. <laughs> you can chauffeur it again. <laughs> you should be chauffeur it again. Uh, yeah, and very impressed. Very impressed. Yeah, I can hear you, my man. I like the video you put out there. That's about one of the best ones so far, especially with the two of us watching your team with no hands on it. Thank you, Ken. I appreciate you. Yeah, so that, that one there is very nice. Thank you, my man. That's why I love you. You're full of the good stuff. That's wicked. I wish it's like it's iced over. There's no waterfall just there. Just have to excuse, I just put a uh, hard boiled sweet in my mouth, but. We've just taken a little stop again uh, in the cars and we're hoping to try and get some photos in the incredible mountains here. We're currently in Snowdonia and if you take a look behind me, you'll actually see how amazing it looks. How incredible is that? It's unbelievable. <laughs> what happened, Leroy? It's okay. It's like yesterday all over again. We've got a soggy Chris. Soggy chauffeur. Here he is. Hair flick. A wet dog, so. After a little detour, we finally made it to Brian Williams, which is the restaurant that we're going to be dining at today. And um, that was a long about way going about it, right? That was a long about way? Long about way. That was a right long about way going about it. Yeah. Exactly what I said. I just finished off driving back. We've arrived to Ralton Hall where we started our journey. And uh, yeah, just finished off driving around in the Lusso. Very, very enjoyable. How did you feel being chauffeured? It was a treat. Exactly what I needed. Well, bro, it's been a pleasure spending our trip to Wales together. Pleasure. And uh, I appreciate all of the fine driving you did for me. I didn't kill you. No, you didn't. I'm alive. <laughs> um, here your knickers. Awesome. <laughs> you just think town line. <laughs> good things must come to an end. Eventually. Sorry. Safety first. No, you, you, you get in there. This is early, everyone. It's early, early. early. Vlog. You're coming right at the end. Yeah, I know. So to save the uh, day. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even know I was here, but here I am. Oh, you might have seen him somewhere in the video. Yeah, popping around. I'm a little bit of purview in the camera. Like yeah, this. <laughs> Promote. It was oh. little. Little secret squirrel over hey, here. Check this out, check this out here. See ya! Bye guys! Look at this, they're loading up the, the wagons. Nice. Anyway, back to doing life stuff. What I always do on every video, which is end it. So, 
just like to say a massive thank you to Ferrari for giving us a lovely experience to Wales. We had a great time with some good food, with some good people. Uh, so it's been an absolute pleasure. As always, I'll leave a link down to all of the relevant pieces below for Mirian and of course Ferrari. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace. Peace out. Yeah, I don't want